then we'll ask questions, Coach. Yeah, a tough night for a tough night for Spartan basketball. You know, obviously disappointing uh, to not come out and compete well. Uh, but credit Santa Clara. Uh, I thought the Coach Sendek has a, a good, experienced team. He's got uh, he's got them where they want to, where he wants them, and that's where we aspire to be. We're not there yet. We're building toward that, but I think we can get there in, in a short time. Uh, so tough night for the Spartans, but credit to Santa Clara. All right, questions for Coach. Coach, um, what was your message to your team after this one? Yeah, uh, good question. Uh, you know, it, it was, hey, we're all disappointed. You know, what did you guys feel out there? What did you guys see? And, and how, how, how can we do it better, right? Uh, I think it's important that, that these young guys know that there's several defining moments that kind of go through a season. And, and we talked about getting a road win was one of them, right? Breaking that long streak of road wins and or road losses. And, and they got that. That was a, that Portland game was important. And now I thought we had to stand up to a good WCC team. And were we ready to go down and make that a, a ball game? Well, the answer uh, was uh, it was answered tonight and it wasn't to our benefit. But I think that will make us better. That's why we play the game. And uh, I look forward to better days ahead for us. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Tim. Um, First half, uh, is it? I know you're emphasizing defense, and is there some a cumulative effect against the offense when you're exerting so much on the yeah. defense? You have Omar with zero points in the first half, and they're going after Alvaro with their big guards. And yeah. um, just can you comment on that? I mean, how do you keep that balance of? Yeah, it, well, that's why you need a big physical team so you can do both, right? And and we're working toward that. I I thought that they did a good job. Just uh, getting into us with some good pressure. Uh, I thought we were we were okay defensively uh, until uh, probably we had the foul trouble with Omari and, and Trey Anderson, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, I think Trey Anderson was minus two, and we were down ten or twelve at half, and so we need him in the game, obviously. And, and even though those guys weren't playing great on offense, we we need that stability on defense. Um, you know, as a coach, how do you juggle both? Uh, you recruit big, strong guys, or you develop your players to become big, strong guys, so they can do both. And we're not there today, of course, uh, but I look forward to the day we are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks like the team wants to respond. You know, Alvaro's he'll attack back. Same with yep. Omari. Um, Sean Robinson, uh, double double. I mean, you know, obviously liked what he did through the whole game. And do they, those guys in the middle? I mean, the forwards, do they feel that pressure to make up for Ibrahim not being there? And I yeah, mean, I think there's no doubt there's a lack of rib protection without Ibrahim Diallo and, and and I think the guys feel like that. And then and then, you know, later in the game when we were running around, then you're really vulnerable to cuts and, and second shots and the things that did happen and Santa Clara is smart enough to take advantage of us that way. Um, and we just couldn't turn them over the way we needed to. Uh, to make anything happen, even though we cut the lead and add it to 14 or 16. Um, those are some, some good things because but most of that's because we got going on offense, really. Yeah. Um, and it just took some time. But I think that there was a lot to be learned tonight. I think there's a lot of guys that feel like they let their team down uh, tonight. And, and that's an okay feeling. I don't want them to live, for it with ever, live with it forever. But uh, maybe a night wouldn't kill them uh, <laughs> to uh, uh, think about that and come ready for uh, Nevada and Utah State yeah. as we start Mountain West play. Yeah. And just your feeling with that coming off of the non-conference play, with the, some of the breaks, you have a little bit of break coming up. and. Yeah. I mean, what's your, your feeling kind of? Yeah, much shady. needed break, you know, and, and COVID's everywhere. So I hope it's a help, healthy and happy, you know, break for everybody, especially with the guys traveling. Uh, but you definitely need that break. And, I, and I'm glad that we do have it. And, and we're going to be off tomorrow and, and, and bring them back the evening of the 26th. So that's pretty extended for a college basketball team. And, and so we'll get the turkey and gravy out of them on the 26th and then get ready for Nevada on 27 and 28. So it'll be a good break and a lot of fun, and, and I'm looking forward to getting back from Mountain West play. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Thank you.